quickly, really cycled. Love the width that the New Zealand team are playing with. The passes are accurate, they're crisp. And now they ask questions of the defence. Hit a meet. Honey, hit a meet. She's in for her first on day two. Come back the other way with Ben. Ben stepping away and Ben heading down Broadway. Ben Ben being chased down by Grassino, but Ben gets across. Now coming away through Alif Kelter pops nicely. It's all here on the platter for the USA. The USA have done it. They've done it. They have knocked down the heavyweights. Can Russia do to England what they couldn't to New Zealand yesterday? They certainly had New Zealand on the ropes. Molly Jenner with her first carry of the ball, and now they decide to run laterally. Now looking to straighten it up is Titova. Kudanova. 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 Forget about the Bustanova. Here's Kudanova. If they are to win another two games, they will have won five consecutive tournaments on the go. New Zealand has scored 1,971 points on the circuit. And they've lost the scrum. That's unusual. Now they get it wide. Farella gets it out to Ben on debut. Ben with the lovely little pop pass. Here's Landry. Has she got the wheels? You bet she has. Put down the glasses. She's gone. So patient build up. Woodman, her first touch of the game. Gets it wide to McAllister. McAllister steps, powers away. And there's another for Kayla McAllister. Try number nine of the weekend. New Zealand tribe. One mistake is all that's needed in the cup semi final. Woodman takes it down, beats the first, beats the second. Now tries to break away. Portia Woodman. Portia Woodman, you are unbelievable! That's why she's the top try scorer in the competition. On to the pitch they come for the second cup semi-final. Russia and the USA. Lauren Doyle has been playing uh, outstanding rugby especially on the defensive side and most notably in the contest against Australia Australia a couple of big sweeping tackles picked off and away goes Lauren Doyle you say nice things about her and then she does even better and Russia trying to stretch it out a bit is Kazakova, who has had a very good tournament, but the turnover there with the U.S. coming back. Falayan tosses the give and the go with Bonnie and Bix Falayan. The double in this one. Back down the first scrum of the match. Fed off Brazier out to McAllister. McAllister running wide. McAllister, now she looks for Woodman. Woodman on the outside. Here comes try number one. Counter gets it out. Butter Big and strong offloads here to Zachary. Her first touch of the ball. Zachary! Zachary's through! Five short Zachary. Oh, she's done brilliantly. Quickly recycled butter. Vilala launches and lands it from La La Land. You betcha. 
Winniata goes in and clears. Goss is there as always. Tui to her right. Goss getting a lot more involved in the game now and sees that there's space out on the left-hand flank. Here she goes again. Sprinter on sprinter. Thomas comes at her. Woodman says goodbye. Five in a final. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Records continue to be broken in Atlanta and New Zealand make it 30 consecutive victories and five titles to their name. Copped a couple of scares along the way though. Yeah, that's just, that's just um, Stevens, I suppose, and every team's getting better. Everyone wants to go to the Olympics, and people are showing it, and they, they brought it to us in those couple of games. And the moment of truth. It's five for the New Zealand Seven Sisters here in Atlanta. New Zealand now on 60. Look at where the United States have moved to, and 36 points moved to fifth position, just two behind France, 10, 12 rather, behind Canada. And that gap between Australia and Canada has closed considerably.